this net over here is a biodegradable net. This net is a, is a jute net that's made in uh, India. So I import this from India. We sew it together with cotton thread so that everything is, is, bio, is biodegradable. My definition of biodegradable is it has to go through a butt of a bug, meaning <laughs> something has to eat it, break down its components into a lower form of, of, of material. Um, but the nice part about this from an environmental point of view is if something gets underneath and works its way through, it can push its way out because it's a woven product, it's not a bonded, bonded product. Uh, another thing is being 100% biodegradable, you don't have to worry about the netting and the thread being left behind. And as long as there's moisture to it, eventually the bacteria will eat this and, and break this down. So this is a double netted straw product uh, that's 100% biodegradable. Can you get that with cocoa matting? Yes. Yeah, so these come in, in um, all the fiber types except the TRMs. Because the TRMs want to be permanent, we don't want something to eat it and break it down because we want the shear forces. You won't find that on the TRM side of things. But you can get this with coconut, uh, straw coconut. For example, I sell a pile of this stuff in Colorado in the straw coconut variety. Why do they want straw coconut in Colorado? Well, because there's, it's, a, it's much more arid than it is here. So they want the coconut for the longevity because sometimes you know, what they think is great growth in one year, uh, we consider that failure here. So they want the longevity of the blanket to be able to do that. But it does come in the different varieties as well.